good morning world from the Algarve. We are having a very relaxing morning out in the garden, up on the roof terrace, having our breakfast. I haven't even had a shower yet, I'm still wearing yesterday's clothes, being a bit of a lazy start. But today is going to be a lazy day in the Algarve. We are going to just go and do some searching around the local area, some shopping, stock up the house, see what's around here. I've heard that there might be like a special supermarket, right? Where we can get some cool things, like nice breads and bits and pieces, like specialist stores. So let's just see what's around here. <laughs> how do you know that's food? It's Mama's apple. We were just saying how sitting up here reminds us of being in Morocco. It's got a very Moroccan feel being on a roof terrace, all white with these little chimney top details. Sunny skies. You weren't in Morocco though, were you? No, Mummy and Daddy got married in Morocco. We'll take you there one day. Yeah, that'd be nice. Is it tasty? Mm -hmm. Ooh, you don't mind that. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit sweet, that's all. Another taste? <laughs> she still doesn't really like it, does she? Look at her face. <laughs> you don't like the sourness, do you? No. Bimsla! Okay, we are out. We are off. It's a bit of a no plan day today, but we are going to head to the shop, the supermarket, to stock up with some supplies. We don't need that much, really, but just milk and things like that. And. It's a bit of an interesting day really because this is what a normal day would have been like had we moved to the Algarve. So we are doing just a normal <laughs> normal day, pretending that we live here, aren't we? Yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> We're strapped in a little adventurer. We're not going for much of an adventure today though. Just the shops. Whee! We are staying. We are searching for a supermarket and we can't find it. Luckily, Story is asleep, so that's all okay. But it's quite a nice drive. We are driving around Villa Mora. It is a lot different from other parts of the Algarve that we've seen so far. It's very well kept. It feels almost like you're in a big gated complex, even though it's not. Lots of pretty villas and trees everywhere. It's nice. Now all we need is to find the supermarket. Yeah, it's getting on my nerves, isn't it, to be honest. <laughs> Driving for an hour for nothing. <laughs> okay, we found a supermarket. <laughs> the real supermarket, Apollonia. Yeah, it wasn't actually that far in the end, but I think we just took all the wrong turns. I've been driving for 23 miles. Can you believe that, around town? Oh dear. <laughs> all right, Apollonia, supermercados. Apparently this is a family run place and they might have some different stuff that we don't normally find in our normal supermarket. So let's try it out. I presume if we were living here, this is the kind of place that we would come if we were looking for some specialist ingredients. But who knows, I know nothing about it really. Are you exiting the vehicle? <laughs> On the notice board here, they've got a place that looks after dogs for you while you go on holiday. It's a bit like when we used to search the notice board in Thailand, isn't it? So you could look after Eden when we went on holiday. So they've got a load of special milks here. They're not cheap, but that's what you expect when you get imported stuff. Pretty good selection of bits and pieces in here. Oh no, something just dropped on the shelf. They've got a ton of vegetarian frozen products in here, like false meats and stuff like that. But they are not cheap, are they? They are not cheap. They're quite expensive. What are you shopping for? You're gonna get olives? I reckon she's gonna like olives. Yeah. Gluten-free section. They do have a lot of stuff here. This is basically the place that we would come to if we wanted to get our imported stuff like gravies and pick a lily and chia seeds. Chia seeds? Yeah, we can get them. <laughs> they have a vegan section. They have soy protein. 
all those hippie stuffs that most people don't care about, but they've got it here if you need it. We purchased these Nescafe ristrettos, which is actually even more intense than the barista ones, so it's going to be pretty damn strong, Sash. Because those ones were quite good, weren't they? Yeah, they were lovely. Very impressed with this store. But Sasha's just been outside getting her coffee and also Bottle sorting out blossom juices. We're just in this cafe outside the supermarket. Very pretty. Are you entertaining yourself with Tomira? <laughs> mm, you love that to me, don't you? We're about to have some lunch. Sasha's got a bagel, we've got a quiche. Mum has a big salad. We've got some toast with butter and jam. Whoa, that's heavy. Right, let's have a chat about what we bought in the Algarve shopping centre. Whoosh. Okay, so we got pretty much everything we wanted today, didn't we? Yeah. This is one thing we've noticed about being down here in the Algarve is if you want something, you can find it here. The supermarkets seem to stock everything, even the products that we could only really get before in England. And one thing I'm noticing is that the prices here for the difficult find products are actually a little bit cheaper than they are in central Portugal too, probably because the demand for them is higher. We went out today for swim nappies for the bean, toothpaste, dog food for Eden, shower gel, Eden treats because she's been a good girl. Crispies for Irma, a spanner for Daddy. <laughs> and we got these, which I'm excited about. We got some natas to have with our coffee. Some more of these. Chocolate rice cakes. Yeah, they were nice. We got these, which we are having for dinner tonight with roasted vegetables. Haven't seen these anywhere else in Portugal. Two different types of nut milk juices. More beans. More beans as you usual. You can never have enough beans, Dory. Remember that. You can never have enough beans. <laughs> and various other items that make up the rest of this table. I think the total for all of this came to about 75 euros. So it's not really far off what we would pay in central Portugal if we were looking for these kind of rare items. Yeah. So yeah. The cost of buying food inside the supermarkets I found is actually a little bit less, if not the same. We actually bought that spanner so that we could set up this brand new washing machine. The lovely family that owns this holiday property bought this so that we could wash all of our clothes but we didn't have the spanner to remove the locking nuts. So let's do some washing. Oh, look, it tells you six. look at this strong girl. Look at you, sitting up all by yourself. That's difficult on that kind of chair as well because it's bouncing. Look at that core strength. Oh wow, look. <laughs> You're ready for a straight back chair, aren't you? Definitely. She's fascinated by Papua's red skirt. You love it? Yeah. Gentle. And then you can no putting in the mouth. Where are we going? We're going to the beach. Yeah. Quick stop off at the beach for sunset. It's what you do when you live in the Algarve, isn't it? <laughs> Give Eden a little walk. <laughs> Eden, come. Come on. We're going to walk down this path. In all honesty, this walk has not worked out the way we wanted it to. <laughs> Apparently, Dogs aren't allowed on this particular beach, so we've just been walking down this pathway to see if there's anywhere else we can go. This would be a problem if we were living in the Algarve. Obviously, we want to walk Eden the dog, and a lot of the beaches say no. We're just going to take Eden down this path and lacquer her out, and then we're going to head back to the house, I think. Yeah. Perhaps tomorrow we can find somewhere a bit more suitable and a bit more natural looking, because the beach here did look quite touristy. Okay, Eden's had a nice walk. It's nearly Story's bedtime. You know, I've driven over 35 miles today, Sash, <laughs> just around town. Can you yeah, believe no, that? Yeah, no, we didn't even leave the area. No, oh. madness. I think we've got a taste for what living in the Algarve would have been like yeah. if we decided to live here. Yeah. Not bad. No, hmm. I wouldn't rule it out. Maybe in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd need a bit of a 
big a budget though, to live down here permanently. Most definitely. <laughs> Sasha has decided to do the phrase of the day today. <laughs> You're going to speak Portuguese? Yeah, I am. Go I learned this this morning. Aguas passadas now movem winas, which means. Hang on, <laughs> strawberries falling down a sandbank. Stuck in the sand. <laughs> oh no, hang on. It doesn't mean story stuck in the sandbank. <laughs> hang on, I'm actually stuck. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> which means water under the bridge does not move nils. And the translation from, to English would be saying what's done is done. So it's a proper Portuguese phrase. Yeah. It's more like what they would say in Portugal. <laughs> and it makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I quite like it. <laughs> Let me try it. Aguas passadas now movem muinhos. Yeah. Okay, aguas passadas now movem muinhos. <laughs> What's done is done. Yeah. We're going to end the vlog for today. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for us, please. And we will see you tomorrow for more Algarvian adventures. Bye. Bye. What do you think about living in the Algarve, Story Bean? Would you like that? Now, are you going to be a beach girl or are you going to be a mountain and valley girl like your dad? Hmm? I'm not a dad though. I'm not a girl, sorry. I am a dad, but I'm not a girl. <laughs> I'm not a mountain and valley girl, am I? Silly dad. Silly daddy. Why yes. did you say that? She took her thumb out to agree with that. <laughs>